What to do, YouTube family? It's your girl, Agobanique, and I'm back with another video. And if you haven't got an opportunity to pick up a copy of my book, The Hitchhiker's Guide to Releasing Music, make sure you click the link in the description right now and go get your copy. Because we teach your artists how to get their music released independently like the majors. So, in this video, I am going to show you guys the difference between a publishing company and a record label. And I'm going to briefly explain what each of them do. So let me start with a publishing company. Publishing companies find songwriters and producers, and they sign those songwriters and producers to publishing contracts. Under those publishing contracts, the songwriters and producers must create compositions. A composition is a beat or lyrics. So you're either writing lyrics or you're making beats when you are signed to a publishing company. Once you have decided to take those beats and those lyrics and put those things out as a collective, such as a song, you then create a master recording. Now, before you create this master recording, it is the job of the publishing company to register that song with performance rights organizations and also mechanical rights collection societies so that you can get paid all of these royalties for writing your songs. So you get paid downloads for physical and digital, streaming, public performance, radio, TV, movies, Instagram, and Facebook. So if you write, if you're a producer and you write these lyrics or you make these beats, then you're entitled to all of these royalties and these royalties will be paid to you by a publishing company. Now let's take it back to the master recording. Once you have decided to create a master recording from your lyrics and your beat, your master recording is being recorded by either you or another performance performing artist. So this could be Beyonce, this could be Rihanna. Like imagine if Rihanna actually recorded a song that you wrote. That would get, that would get you a lot of these royalties right here. But anyways, you create that master recording and then you license that master recording to a record label. The deal that is created is a re record deal. So when you decide to license your master recordings to a record label, you are entering in a record deal. It is the job of the record label to distribute those master recordings via Spotify, Apple Music, or uh, in stores like back in the day. And when, that, when you distribute that music, you generate a sales royalty from downloads. Um, and also streaming royalties are generated when people listen to your music on Apple Music or Spotify. So again, there is a publishing company. They represent the songwriter and the producer. And then there's a record label. They represent the performing artist. So please remember, before you release your next song, you want to get yourself with a performance rights organization or start your own publishing company. Make sure you get that publishing company completely set up and registered with all the mechanical rights societies and performance rights organizations so that you can get your songwriters and your producers paid. And then you want to license your music to either a label or you want to distribute it yourself through United Masters of Digital Kid. Get your music out on all streaming services so you can get all your royalties. Make sure you register your songs with the Collection Society so you can get all your publishing. You already know what it is. It's your girl, I go by Neek. Keep it locked. I got more content coming. My hoodie is kind of dirty, but it's all good, y'all.